Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today I'm going to give you another great workout you can do in your own home. I want you to come into these workouts warmed up and ready to go. So do at least a five to ten minute workout of, you know, either going up and down your stairs, walking around the block, riding your bike, things like that. Um, you can even do things like marching in place, doing a little side reaching, getting your heart rate going and your muscles warmed up and ready to move. Okay, so we're going to start with some lat pull. We're using tubes today. Um, so if you have a higher place, you can loop a tube or a band. Um, we're going to start with that. We're going to sit on the floor. And remember, you can always make this harder by either doubling up bands or wrapping them up tighter, things like that. So I want you to sit up nice and tall and squeeze down. So we're going to squeeze your shoulder blades down away from your ears. And if you don't have a very strong band, you can double them up. You can do more and go more slowly. This one typically needs a little bit of extra weight um, because these are some really big muscles in your back that you're exercising here. So if you do need a little extra, you can just go a little more slowly and do some extra repetitions. You can just press pause and do, you know, maybe 20 instead of 10 or 12. Okay, so that's our lat pull down. Next, we're gonna do some side step squats with a weight. Now, I'm just gonna use, my puppy is all about it today. He wants to go on another walk. So that will be on the agenda after this. Come here. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of my dumbbells that we're gonna use for later in the workout. And we're gonna do some side step squats. So just starting with your feet together, I want you to step out to the side and squat and then stand up. So we're just gonna kind of go back and forth using a little bit of extra weight here. If you cannot do squats, um, you can just do some sidestepping here, even just sidestepping across the room with a little bit, not really even a full squat, but just kind of bending your knees, sticking your hips back and squeezing your glutes. Oops. So this is a squat, not a side lunge. This lateral movement is still important even if you can't get a squat. So just taking some big lateral movements and making sure that you keep your feet straight forward. We're going to do a couple different things like that today. This is the one, only one with a squat. One more each direction. Okay, good. Now, um, I want you to grab three cups or three of anything, really. You could use pretty much anything. I use discs in my gym, um, but I don't have those here, so I'm gonna use little cups. Actually, if I think about it, I do with my coaching stuff. Anyway, so I want you to stand on one foot, kind of put them in a triangle. We're going to stand single leg stands and we're going to tap, tap out to the side and then tap back. So if you can try not to put your foot down in between, I just did. And then the other thing is when you're doing balance exercises, if these things are challenging to you, do them next to the kitchen sink, do them somewhere where you can hang on. Um, you know, even a doorway is a really great place to kind of do these things because you've got something on either side of you that you can hang on to if you do start to lose your balance. So we're going to do, you can either do this for like 30 seconds or you can do maybe five of each, just tiny little taps, and then switch. So you can kind of tailor it to your needs. You know, if you're really not challenged by this, do it for longer. You know, you can spread the cups out even further, so you really have to stretch and reach for them. Or if this is really challenging, you could just use two cups and go forward and back. But, um, you know, challenge yourself. Do it for longer. When you're standing on one leg, you're also really working on that hip stabilization of that leg that you're standing on. So this leg is getting the exercise going forward, and side and back. So it's getting some good hip range of motion. And this one is getting some good stabilization holding you in that place. 
So we'll do one more each way. Oops, I knocked it over. Okay, great. So this is an easy one. You can use anything in your house with this. You could do three sticky notes even, whatever. Anything you can just kind of stick around. Okay, next we're gonna do some side stepping with a band. So I'm gonna have you, if you don't have a band like this, you can use a TheraBand and just put it around the bottom of your feet and step sideways. I'm gonna put this around my ankles. And we're gonna do side stepping, but we're gonna do it staying in one place. So get your feet um, spread apart, maybe a little wider than shoulder width or about shoulder width. I want you to step out, tap, step out, tap, step out, tap. So instead of walking sideways across the room, which we do sometimes like this, you know, one way, all the way, and then come back, we're just staying in place. Step out, side tap, step out, side tap. So keeping those toes straight forward. Don't let them go out to the side like this because then you get hip flexor. We're really working on hip stabilization and glutes here. So just feet straight forward, toes straight forward, hips back just a little bit, knees bent just a little bit. So here I'm, I'm a little bit bent, but I'm not in a squat. So this is just more of an athletic stance, like I'm ready to move, go back and forth. And you can, this is another one you can judge if you're really struggling with this and it's a lot. Um, like I said, the other way you can do it is to put a band underneath your feet like this. Pretend I don't have both on here, but then you can step sideways like that with the band under your feet. So you don't have to worry about if you have one of these or not. And then you don't have to tie a knot in your nice band either. Okay, now we are going to go do an ab exercise called in and out. He is a noisy little boy. So if you don't have a BOSU, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a bench first. So you can do it on the side of a chair, like a kitchen chair works great for this because you can lean back, out, in, out, in. So I'm gonna show you on a BOSU if you have one. You can also do this seated on a pillow or like I said, a kitchen chair works pretty good. Or the end of an exercise bench, the side of an exercise bench, the end of your coffee table works great. If you do have a BOSU, we might as well use it. So back and in, out, in. And feel free to put your hands here on the BOSU. Of course, you can do it without, but this will give you a little stabilization and it actually allows you to focus more on your core than worrying about falling and losing your balance. Nine and 10, good. All right, the last one we're going to do um, a chest fly with a bridge on the floor. So I'm gonna pull this down to the floor. We're using a little bit of extra equipment today, but you don't have to. Sometimes I like to pull it in just because I know if you have it at home, it's fun to use. Okay, so grab a set of dumbbells, probably a little bit lighter for a chest fly. You know, our older dog, Tubby, is very quiet. And Blue is not. He is very talkative. Okay, so feet flat on the floor. We're gonna go up into a bridge, holding that with your glutes, and chest fly. So we're adding some extra stabilization, some extra muscle engagement. Four, five, really think about squeezing those glutes. Six, your hamstrings are also engaging here. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, great job. Okay, so you can add a little cardio here and then rewind and do these again. Do that a couple times extra through and stretch at the end, call it a full workout. Thank you everybody, have a wonderful weekend. I hope April is treating you well so far. All right. See you next time.